we are here to discuss yet another opportunity which is going to be world's biggest opportunity in terms of IPOs. If you remember, the last IPO which was the biggest ever conducted or listed was uh, by Saudi Aramco. So Saudi Aramco actually listed their IPO for around $29 billion. Now we'll be having an opportunity by a fintech company, world's biggest fintech company, Yes, you guessed it right, that's Ant Financial, which is, which is a part of a group of Alibaba, uh, which everyone knows about. And uh, this is going to be world's biggest ever IPO listed. But this IPO is not going to be listed in New York or Amer in any other American share, uh, share market, but it is going to be uh, listed in Hong Kong and Shanghai. So roughly, the, the valuation of this company is, uh, is going to be approximately $200 billion. And the, the Ant Financial is planning to list almost more than 10% to 12% of their uh, overall valuation, which will take them to list around $30 billion. Now, you know, these days, uh, especially in China, uh, the, the economy is going cashless. So basically in China, uh, more than 54% uh, of their economy is using this growth. And let us discuss what Ant Financial includes. You must have heard about Alipay. So normally uh, Alibaba's all transaction is being done through uh, Alipay. Uh, Alipay also is used to pay many utility bills there in China. You can buy insurance. You can buy, you can actually get loan through their app and you know, it's, it's, it's almost, uh, almost covering complete China and, and all of, all of the users in China, they're trying to use this app by somehow. The major Chinese payment system, if we discuss, we have WeChat, which is the, the, the one which is normally used by almost all the Chinese. And then the major competitor is Alipay. The, the group we are talking about right now and uh, the next one the third most important and the most used one is China Union Pay so all, all you you would see only these three are the major players then you have other like Apple Pay and many others but these three are the major market shareholder so let me tell you uh, another exciting thing about Ant Financial Ant Financial itself is bigger than Citibank or Goldman Sachs or even Bank of America yes this financial institute itself is bigger than all these three big institutions in the United States. So it has a lot of potential. Now in China or in any other part of the world, uh, to take a loan from, from financial institution, especially for uh, general consumers or a small and medium enterprises, it's always difficult and you get it on a very high interest rates because of your credibility, because of your uh, overall credit ratings. But when you come and deal with Ant Financial, uh, it is not the same case. So they have made it very easy for the consumers, especially in China. Uh, so, it, so all the consumers in China, they feel very uh, uh, delighted to have the service. And that's why it has a lot of potential. As of now, as I mentioned, that they have 900 million plus users within China. Ant Financial in Asia, they are having more collaborations with companies uh, so they can enhance their payment gateway system and get benefit of that economies. Uh, in Pakistan, they have collaborated with Easy Pesa. In Bangladesh, they are working with Bcash as Bcash in Hong Kong as well. As well as in Philippines, Gcash is what represents and financial services. And in Malaysia, you have Touch and Go e-wallet system as well as in South Korea. So these countries are growing countries with a lot of population. Uh, and uh, with more population, you can have target market and more target market with more transactions to be targeted. So after doing this IPO, probably they will definitely be collaborating with more and more companies across Asian, Asia and as well in other countries.